So another weekend and another moth sailing video. This time we left home and it was nice and sunny with a big high pressure system sitting right over the Cockle Biddy Roadhouse in Western Australia, as you can see. Um, however, there was rain forecast and the breeze was meant to swing from a light northwesterly round to the south. Um, as you can see on the way to sailing, there was this really dark line of cloud on the horizon, which I've pointed out with the big red arrow there, in case you couldn't tell. And um, after a quick stop for breakfast, uh, by the time we uh, pulled out onto the freeway behind this uh, beautiful timber Benezi contender, which uh, it certainly doesn't happen every day, the rain had definitely set in. So when I pulled into the club, um, it's still raining. There's maybe a light northerly blowing if you use your imagination and look at the flags. And uh, by the time I got the car unloaded and got all my gear out, it was just this constant drizzle. So sail bags are already soaking wet, foil bags are wet, everything's wet. Uh, but that's all right because the forecast was still looking good. Of course, no trip to Sandringham would be complete without going for a walk to have a look at the submarine. This is the wreck of the J7 submarine, which was launched in England in 1919. I wonder if the uh, 40 sailors and five officers that served aboard uh, this submarine could imagine that one day someone would be filming it on their telephone before going on their personal flying sailboat that goes faster than their submarine did. So here we are off Sandringham. I thought we'd come here for a winter series because there was racing on and it's supposed to be a little bit of wind but haven't come in yet. Come back to you when there's uh, a bit more wind. It's suddenly starting to fill in here a bit. We're just about two thirds of the way up to the top mark. See another line of pressure straight ahead. It's just a lot of short races today, so I'm not too stressed about making this first one. If the breeze is going to come in, GPS has died or gone flat somehow, which isn't ideal. Keelboat right up there looks to have good pressure. It's covered some ground. Just going to push out into this breeze, see what we get definitely got a lot of south in it. So we're just floating about here waiting for wind off the pin. Pin slash bottom mark is just here. Sort of off towards Black Rock and Frankston. You can kind of see a bit of pressure and then up towards the reef there. Sort of straight ahead, there looks to be another line of breeze. 29 as it have gone around the top mark, sort of gone way up high as if they were a bit of a westerly, which is probably good. So, yeah, just sitting out this first race, blobbing about, barely floating, and yeah, waiting to see what happens. So it's been about 40 minutes since I last made a video and not a lot's happened. The boats in the race are now at the top mark for the last time in the first race. We are still exactly where we were before. At the bottom mark right there. Probably lob around. But excitingly <coughs> there's definitely a line of sort of dark water which is hopefully wind out to the southwest there which is what Predict Wind said it would do. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if we get some wind. So, looks like that line of pressure is getting closer. The tweeniner with the white kite out there has got it. As do most of the boats at the top mark. Doesn't look to have a whole lot in it yet, but if you look right around here past the reef, there's a distinct line of low cloud sort of over here. And then there's dark water all underneath it coming over towards the reef. Just had fishing boats going past me at 20 knots, so they obviously know something we don't. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. Hopefully this is the last video with uh, no wind. 
Yeah, be back soon. Here we go, breeze is in. This is the sort of wind today that you just hope you sort of get lucky and exactly as predict wind said. Mark 29 has a bit on. One at the top mark was full wiring up wind before. I'll just wait till these last few boats clear the line and then get going and uh, we'll see how we go. Still a little bit fluky. Here we go. Very weird waves. There we go. Bang on. Kind of on. On the side. Off we go. Beautiful. That's windy. So this tack is shocking. I don't get the boat flat before I turn. Um, I'm still getting used to tacking this thing. It's so different compared to everything else I've sailed because you've got to be on the other side of it before you turn, which is totally counterintuitive. And then um, I was going to let the boat blow around before I brought it up, but uh, obviously it got away from me and came up too quick. And then I was able to grab the rudder, but um, yeah, obviously that just loaded the rig up and it slingshotted away downwind. And um, being the middle of winter, if I was out here by myself and wasn't able to catch up, it could be a bit of a um, tricky situation. So it's just something to be aware of and um, yeah, a good excuse to work on my tacks and uh, not end up swimming after my boat. So here in the pre-start, um, I got a little bit uh, tangled up with a um, 29er coming down from the windward end of the line. Um, but yeah, sort of no harm done. They apologised and uh, all good. And I suppose thinking back on it, I was probably uh, in a similar position 15 years ago and um, probably a bit of a full circle moment. But um, yeah, no harm done and all good.
So while I was out there, it sort of felt like I forgot how to sail because it was um, pretty full on uh, when this breeze came in, as you can see. Um, we're expecting kind of 11 knots. I had my um, big deep main on and um, as you can see, it actually came in at sort of 17 to 19 and um, temperature dropped about three or four degrees. So it was really cold and um, the wind chill factor was right up there. And after sailing on reservoirs in light air for the past uh, couple of months, uh, being off sandy when that kind of subtly comes in um, was certainly a yeah, pretty full on experience and uh, you can sort of hear how hard I'm working in the video so clearly got to work on some fitness and um, I noticed that pulling on the Cunningham harder than you think a bit like an A class I suppose really makes a difference and um, obviously a lot of Vang as well so um, just got to go out there and work on the boats uh, handling and get through those tacks and try and get through the jibes and yeah, just keep uh, working on it before the start of the season. So hopefully I'll be back with another video soon. And thanks for watching if you made it this far.